How's it going everybody? Rob Ray here today and we are back with our Hunt 23 No Money Spent Road to Glory, the Road to Bread here in episode number 30. And sorry guys, it's taking me a while. I've been focusing a little bit on the franchise mode stuff, building that stuff, uh, having a lot of fun with it. And you know, that's, that's what I want to be doing. Hunt just, you know, ever since Team of the Year, it's just kind of, there's not been that draw, but... Today, we're going to get some more Rivals gameplay, and I think we're just going to chill in Rivals all weekend. Um, no reason for me to to go to Champs, I don't think. Uh, the team definitely needs upgrade uh, for sure. I mean, we're good. Things are gelling, but there's just something, a little something off here and there. Uh, defensively, we've been phenomenal, and Stamkos is probably the guy that I'm going to upgrade next. I know I've got that Headman in the back. Maybe I want to get Headman to base Headman, replace Dunn kind of thing, and then we focus on Stamkos. I don't know. You guys let me know what, what I should do first. Is Stamkos first or get um, Victor Headman? As you can see, we replaced Dunn or Green. But guys, I got to say the defense has been on point. Like the defense has been phenomenal. Our first opponent is Trash Bags. Um, and they got a ridiculous team. You can see the 97 offense. You can see they got Cal McCarr. They got Connor McDavid. I'm sure those are both their team of the years too. Um, so I can't wait to be facing all of those as we get through uh, the rest of the season here. But you know, as we get to the all-star break, there's just not as much uh, hot content that I'm enjoying slash wanting to dive in for. So um, hopefully something is worthwhile, but it felt like more at the beginning of the year, there was a lot of cards to grind for and build up. And now it's like, well, I can't build up cards as much anymore. And anyway, we're going to get a little opportunity here on the power play early in the second. Fox finds Tara Vine and who shoots it. Had two men in front, one of those being team of the year, Connor McDavid, who's going to tip it in. A sick tip, just absolutely nasty. Uh, that thing going top corner off the tip, but um, like I said, building the cards, I don't know, I don't have as much coins anymore because of the team of the year stuff, um, and it's just kind of one of those things, I got to build up a stockpile, kind of grind through this lull before we can uh, really start having some more fun with Hot, but Debrinkat with the slapper, can't quite get that one to go, but Larkin comes off the bench to get the rebound, gets actually a shot punched, that's a, about as se uh, severe of a block as you'll see, but he picks up the rebound in the corner, finds a streaking Stamkos on the back door, and we have a 2-0 lead um, early in this one. Guys, that Larkin card, uh, Stammer and McKinnon, like, this, these guys are just absolutely killing it for me. But here we go. Markstrom is going to feed it out to Mike Green, who finds Kuznetsov, part of the revamped fourth line. We're going to get it to Mian. Mian finds Kuznetsov. Yes, my opponent was there, but um, he was holding out his stick. He wasn't really in position to stop the pass, more so trying to block it with his stick. Um, and Kuznetsov was able to find that thing and feed it home with just six seconds left here in the second period. We're going to jump ahead. To about four minutes into the third, three minutes into the third, we have an offensive zone face-off. And I remember this one. I specifically put out my second line because I wanted McKinnon and Debrinkat on that left side there. And Debrinkat does me right and actually is just going to... His card has been so phenomenal this year, guys. I am so happy I took that uh, Debrinkat card. It's withstood the test of time, if you will, for a card that I got, you know, in October for me to still be feeling like it's able to keep up and contend here in... Uh, January and oh my goodness that backhand toe drag from Dylan Lark I was hyped streaking up the wing backhand toe drag and then the snipe on top of it Oh, it was just such a nice goal. I had to clip it. I, I was loving it. I was feeling good Obviously at 5-0 I'm going to be feeling very good and very confident uh, Here a little scrum in the corner Fox with truculence and Ward just being a big body is able to get the puck away Fox passes up to McKinnon McKinnon is gonna stop. He's gonna find the little lane there due to brink at his second goal of the game guys and Things are just clicking right now things defensively offensively um, A little bit later. I'll be showing you guys Markstrom stats. I should actually probably do that I think I might start the next episode showing you guys the stats uh, for the club for all the players But here we go. We got a four-on-one ish uh, McDavid is able to break that thing into the zone gets it knocked off But he gets to the front finds Tara Vinen on the back door just absolutely left alone over there for the tap in and we have got ourselves another goal in this one this one was pretty one-sided this one i was just kind of rolling feeling good and for my first game back that I, I haven't played in like a week or so i don't know when the last episode came out but we pulled the headman in the last one um but for a seven nothing victory in my first game back that's that feels really good guys um all these games today they were really good opponents i just felt like um you know a lot of the times i could play the way i wanted to play and it was fun i was having fun so 
If you're not playing for fun, I don't know why you're playing HUD. There's no reason to get so angry or upset or things like that. No reason to be toxic. Our next opponent is Doorknobs, uh, the Chicago Blackhawks. I didn't see what, I forgot to mention what their X Factors were, but uh, another home game, I think, for us? Uh, yeah, I did change the jerseys at home, too. We're no longer wearing the Berlin jerseys. We're wearing uh, the Sherbrooke Phoenix, I believe, is their jerseys. They're so nice. Um, but here we go. A puck saved into the corner. I board play, but he doesn't have it, so I don't want to take a penalty. McDavid then, well, walks out in front. Just needs to execute. That one was a bit upsetting. Uh, I didn't really put myself in the best position. I tried to steal the puck and take it away. What I really should have done there is, uh, you know, just conceded the puck and protected the front of the net. Instead, I tried to steal the puck and go up the boards when I didn't really have it. And here's the, what I was talking about, guys. Markstrom, 9-1 with a 1-1-0 and a 9-22 save percentage. Uh, that's insane. The guy has been such an upgrade in net, even over that 87 Shostyrkin. And Debrinkat steals the puck and then roofs it. In tight. Uh, guys, this to bring that card has been so fun to play with this year. Uh, I almost want to spend the coins to get him up to an 88, even though he's probably, you know, in a month going to be working his way down uh, the pecking order. He's still a great card, Sentimental. I don't ever want to get rid of him. Um, it's one of those cards that I want him to be on the team. Uh, when I say so long this summer uh, as we prepare for NHL 24, uh, it's just been that kind of card that I'm absolutely in love with that card. Uh, but he, our opponent finds hints streaking down the wing. Done. I was there, but just not quite there enough. And our opponent gets a good shot away. And then our defenders are just kind of chaotic in the uh, right in front of the net. And Stamkos is all by himself on the back door. And it's 85 Stammer, so can't even say it was super elite Stamkos. I think our Stamkos is better than 85. I think. I'm not sure. But... Congratulations to Stammer again on his 500th goal, uh, and I think I might want to be upgrading that card soon. But here we go, our revamp fourth line again, and ooh, yeah, Gary Mann just kind of shows up when necessary, right? Ties the game at two, 100% um, kicked in, 100% was just batted in, swatted, take it, off, it was off the leg. Our opponent is watching in here. I just had to chuckle when I saw this one go in because it was like, yep, yeah, dim. Now that's that's about as illegal goal as I think it gets. Um, so that one should not have stood, but I'm not, I'm not gonna complain. It is tied two to two, but our opponent was definitely better than I was in, in this one. So um, here with 45 seconds to go, they're gonna spin with hints. He's gonna find Newendike. I was there too, like I kind of read it. Debrinkat couldn't knock him off. And oh brother, our defense just kind of gets caught napping. I don't know what happened there. They just kind of, I ran into the defender who stopped backing up. Uh, a little bit upsetting, but like I said, it was not undeserved. I'm pretty sure every goal that I said when playing this person, I was just sitting there playing. I was like, yeah, it was deserved. That was deserved. That was deserved, right? So it's just like, you just understand when the your opponent makes a good play, don't get so upset about it. I mean, listen, your opponents are going to make good plays too. I know so many people that are just just toxic. But as you guys can see, it was, it was a tight game, but they had a very, very good... Uh, uh, a good performance. Too much sauce is our next opponent with Forsberg, Bartzell, Fairvi. That Bartzell card, guys. I feel like I just need to buy a Bartzell um, and replace Kevin Fiala, right? So, like, maybe I replace Fiala with a Bartzell, put him on the third line, because the third line with Stamkos, uh, Fiala, and then I forgot who that other uh, on that line is, right? Um, it's not Debrinkat, but there we go. We're going to see Debrinkat again, Debrinkat. We're going to see him streaking, and we hit him with the uh, Larkin slapper, guys. This second line, I, I have zero intentions of breaking up the second line. Now, yes, I know McDavid was on that one, but to have McKinnon, Debrinkat, and Larkin, that's a phenomenal um, second pairing, at least for the way I play and the way I enjoy playing. They're all cards that just feel so good when I play with them. Uh, it's the third line, though, with Stammer that's not quite upgraded. Uh, Stammer needs an upgrade or two before he's he's good enough to really compete. Uh, there's Fiala. Can't knock the puck away. And here, I, that's just a bad step by me. I'm on the power play. And then Stamkos and McKinnon. Stamkos just can't get on his horse. I should have stayed with McKinnon. I probably might have caught up to him there. But that Bartzell card, guys, is one of the fastest cards in the game. Without a doubt, um, that Bartzell card is just elite. I think he's even faster than McDavid, which is kind of insane. Uh, I probably could have at least prevented it from being such an easy attempt, but, you know, I, it is what it is. But here you go. Our opponent again with Pinelli, and we actually blocked the puck off this time. McKinnon, oh, I, I read the lane. Weger, though, is going to dangle in. A good poke check, but it falls right to Tavares, who finds Bartzell. Ball and a good play by my opponent, man. Absolutely great play there in tight. 
Um, just to be patient and pull that to the backhand. You know, I don't know. If, I, I don't think I would have been that patient pulling it to the backhand. But you can see he's got the 93 Tavares too. Um, so this guy's team is 100% elite. And he's, and he's definitely a good player. Doesn't use too many of the, the meta tactics or meta strategies, but he does find a way to just kind of shut that stuff down. He's a good defender. Uh, and here you go. He's going to sauce that thing up to Jordan Cairo. I'm stepping now. Uh, Pinelli and, oh, man. Um, that was just terrible defense by me with Makar. I kind of just got out of his way there. Made it way too easy on him. Stars of the month. I mean, this is a good team, guys. Credit to this guy for putting together a too, uh, good team. It doesn't seem like crazy over overpowering and things like that it's just a really good team and he's a really good player and he knows how to use his players and that's the thing oh it's Zabenejad that's right Zabenejad really a fall from grace Zabenejad completely tanked for me um so I don't even know if I want to have Zabenejad on the team anymore maybe he could go on the fourth line and, and get us some synergies but I feel like I need an upgrade on that third line Stamkos needs to be upgraded Fiala Fiala's mid he's, he's not really impactful that's what I'm thinking like just picking up a a regular Bart sale to play there maybe I put Patty Kane on the other side because we got that Patty Kane I didn't I don't think I sold him I don't think I did um but we could do a, a third line of Stamkos Patty Kane and Bart sale. Could be pretty nasty, uh, especially if I get Stamkos upgraded. So I think we might make some changes to the team. Uh, as I watch this gameplay back, I'm really leaning heavily on the top six. And it's when I get out of that top six, it's tough, right? Mian is a sentimental card, too. Um, he's not cutting it anymore, though. I, I may want to replace him. But Niederreiter, we go to the back door. Probably would have gone in if it got through, but <laughs> cheapers. I uh, feel bad for my opponent there. Uh, listen, I'm going to take him when I can, but... You know, uh, but more just talking about the team. I'm enjoying talking to you guys about the team right now. I'm trying to brainstorm some ideas. Larkin, absolutely worthwhile uh, to upgrade maybe in the future. And maybe if I do play Huts or Hut Champs, good Lord, as we get the nice wraparound goal there. Um, if I do play Champs, I may turn the collectibles into power-up collectibles rather than trying to pull from packs. Because I don't know how many individual players are going to upgrade this team at this, uh, at this time. Like, getting Stamkos up, getting Larkin up, getting uh, Headman up i think is more important than hoping we pull something that makes the team right fiala was nice and all but um i just don't think uh he he's gonna last for a while but he does make a nice play there two to brink at actually that was niederreiter they see i got to change some of these numbers to niederreiter 22 fiala 22 i'm getting them confused all the time um but he finds to brink at who like i said guys is just gonna keep on scoring as an 87 though you'd expect that right he's one of the better players on my team here we go. There's Fiala. He's able to find Dylan Larkin with a little spin move. And we shoot because we saw uh, McKinnon crashing. And there we go. Again, Larkin, McKinnon, Dabrinkit. That second line, guys. I'm so happy with where that second line is at. I think I just need to maybe pick up a Bartzel. Um, because that Bartzel card, I've heard my you know my cousins tell me great things about him. People are... I, I, I get dominated by him, right? Um, so... Uh, fixing the third line. I think we could have a really sick team. That was almost a really nice goal there from McDavid. A great shot. Close quarters even popped. Here, I'm a little bit upset that I didn't even knock the puck off. Um, but, you know, it is Team of the Year McDavid. He finds probably Team of the Year McKinnon. I'm pretty sure it was. They're going to cut to it in just a split second, right? Like, and there it is. Yeah, you can see the card art was just barely um, Team of the Year McKinnon. So, Team of the Year McDavid, Team of the Year McKinnon. Can't really be too upset when those two do good things against you. Um, but here we go with 21 seconds to go. I get caught flat-footed with green, and there's probably Team of the Year Matthews on the back door. Um, this guy's going to have a really good team in about April. Um, it's obviously a great team now, but they're just going to be dominant in April. But that is all for this gameplay episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm back. I'm playing Hut again. And, you know, we got 25,000 coins. I don't know how much we can really do with that. I may sell Fiala, get maybe 30,000 more. We might have 50,000 to play with. Then maybe I upgrade Headman. I don't know. Headman or re uh, fixing the third line. You guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. But that is all the time I have for this one, guys. The defense has been phenomenal. The offense is starting to click. And I feel like I'm on the cusp of getting a really dominant team. Let me know your thoughts, like I said. But leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And I will see you guys in the next one. It's a free for all. Free for all. What we fall. It's a free for all.